it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here, back again with another video, and today we are back, whoops, I need to start the timer, we are back here on Clover Creek, um, I just finished the tillage, so we got the 84 sitting here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and put the cultivator away, <clears throat> uh, as you can see I got the 44 hooked up to the planter, um, and another thing, if you look, I have sorghum as an option. I don't know, I haven't done anything differently recently, I haven't added any new mods recently, changed anything, and now all of a sudden I have sorghum, so, don't know what, what brought the change, but, uh, I'm not gonna complain because sorghum is a pretty good crop here so um, being able to plant it will be good uh, I gotta get this thing back there a little better uh, we're gonna hook this thing back up to the DN uh, but it's not going to do anything for now uh, what we're going to be doing actually I wonder if okay actually this guy is going to do some stuff we're going to get this guy putting down some more lime and then we are going to rent a rogator sprayer I believe it's a rogator uh, we're gonna rent a sprayer and we're gonna go ahead and put down some PK and then um, yeah so we need to put PK water lime and herbicide down uh, if we run over here this is pretty much what every field is um, so we're at 5.8 moderate acidity so we need another round of lime and then we need some moisture and then some PK and then obviously the herbicides so uh, what we're gonna do in this episode is we'll get that guy spreading the lime and then we will go rent a sprayer and um, start spraying we're gonna actually back up here so we're gonna get this guy started on field 31 we want to change our mode fertilizing and seeding and first waypoint and then like I said we'll go ahead and rent a sprayer and we'll get spraying can't remember where my first waypoint is on here That's over this direction. I don't know. Oh, I do remember now. Okay. And we need to crank the field speed up to... We'll go to 16. That's where we'll set it. So then while this guy spreads, we can spray... And we can uh, knock out some makers here. Okay, there it is. I would just let this guy go, but I know how course play is with articulated tractors at times. So I'm just going to start him myself. Just like so. Then we're going to go to the shop, go to sprayers, and we're going to get the 1386 Rogator floater for three hours. We'll just head on over to the farm and get uh, filled up with some herbicide, or some, uh, some PK is what I meant to say. Let's turn on our warning light things here. 
or hazards, I guess, since we don't have beacons. Let's give our wheels all the way in. <clears throat> yeah, sorry that uh, yesterday's um, uh, uh, modding video was kind of boring. Wasn't really a whole much, whole lot to do. Um, and I've been wanting to work on that truck for a long time and then I had started at one point and then I was like eh, I really don't know what I'm doing and just quit you know I just quit it and re deleted it deleted the mod actually even I didn't even use the mod um, if I remember right like it gave me frame rate issues or something like that because of how much like cube map stuff was on it so but anyway, and um, yeah, so then I just kind of got rid of it, and I don't remember what what I was thinking of, but then I was like, you know what, I'm going to start that project again, and then I was like, that'll make a good Thursday modding video as well, so kind of figured I'd do that. Um, and then another thing, you guys, if there's anything that like you would like to know modding wise you know like maybe you want to know how to um how to create an ad strip like to put a farm like a farm logo on your tractor or something you know something whatever if i know how to do it i would be happy to show you guys how to do it so you know if there's something that you want to see put it in the comments um on any video really and let me know and i can definitely um definitely take it into consideration um, being that sorghum is working, uh, I now have figured out what crops are going to go in what fields. So once we get up here and start filling up, I will read that off so that way I don't crash into something. As I know that I most likely will. that's a lime silo oh it's not okay I can change okay so field 30 right there will be in sorghum field 31 will be soybeans 35 will be rye 37 will be sunflowers and 39 will be oats so 30 and 31 will be uh, the will be used with the uh, six row planner and then the rest of the fields will all be with the drill so we need PK and then we're gonna go ahead and go start we'll just start on field 30 here I think there we Actually, I want to shut all this stuff off so I can grab a screenshot. So I don't know what herbicides we need to put down at the second. I have to go look that up. Um, but right now I'm not even worried about that because we're, we're a ways away from putting down herbicides right now. My goal is to have... Um, all of these fields, like all of the uh, management stuff done. Obviously, I'm not going to have any planting done before growth stage goes, but I want to have all the lime spread, all the, um, you know, everything sprayed, and then I also want to have all the water, the moisture stuff down too before midnight uh, in game. So that way. You know everything is on the same growth cycle or more or less so so 
So there's a lot of work to be done in, you know, 24 hours, really. Not even, in more like 15 hours, I think, is what it'll be. Yeah, because it's 9 o'clock now, so to get to midnight would be... Well, to get to noon would be 3 hours, and then to get to midnight would be 12, so... 15 hours, so really, there isn't a whole lot of time when you think about it, because, I mean... These fields are fairly large. Uh, this sprayer is pretty decent size, so that'll help. But we can only do a couple of things with it. And I need to put down the first round of herbicide, too. That's the other thing. Um, because the way I like setting it up, I spray the first round of herbicide, I go and plant, get the crops to the first growth stage, and then I go and spread first or second growth stage, something like that. Then I go and spray the second herbicide, and then go to fully grown and then it's all set so yeah but anyway um, as I was saying the um, you know this the sprayer will be able to put down the PK and the herbicide with so that'll help so then hopefully by the time that we're done with the sprayer we should be able to use the 84 to put down some water. Um, I guess technically I could put down water with this, but we'll see. I kind of like, kind of would like to use the Mandaco, but I'm just gonna kind of see where I'm at for time. Uh, if it'd be faster just to use this thing, then you know, go rent a Mandaco and go use that. Then I'll definitely do this. Um, what I want, what I would like to do is have everything, you know, for Monday's video I'd like to be up to planting. Um, I mean, it's going to be pretty boring really, because if I just recorded, you know, what, it, basically what I'm doing, Monday as well, it'll get kind of old because really I'm going to be doing this exact same thing. Because by the time Monday rolls around, I would be still spraying and spreading. Because I have other, you know, I have to record a video for Sunday yet. And I'm also leaving this weekend. So, um, I probably won't be doing a whole lot of anything. Plus, I also have a new project that I'm working on that you guys will see, uh, in the next... Thursday modding video, either this coming Thursday modding or next week, um, I'm not sure, so either the, either the 25th, or no, either the 26th or the 2nd, I'm not sure yet, it depends on how much I have done by the time, uh, next Thursday rolls around, or actually Wednesday really, uh, it'll just kind of depend on how much I have done. So, uh, let's go ahead and get some GPS set up here. But, yeah, so it just, it really is going to depend on how much stuff I have done uh, on this project. Uh, I have a couple of buddies that know what I'm doing, and but uh, that's about it, so... I won't be revealing that until the video, and like I said, I don't know if that's going to be the um, the 26th or the 2nd. I, it just depends on how much work I've gotten done on it between now and then. So, you know, it's Thursday right now. Um, I was supposed to work today, but didn't, so I I studied longer. Uh, I'm currently studying for my ACT test. So I studied a little longer uh, today, and then I also um, have been working on getting some videos done. I'm also working on um, a map edit for my dedicated server. Uh, we are going to be playing on Duke Farming, and we're going to be doing like a bunch of harvests and stuff. Just kind of screwing around and whatnot. Whoa, my sizing is way off here. What's this thing say in the store it is? For width. 
33. No. Okay, we'll go to 30.4 then. Yeah, that was way off there. Holy smokes. But anyway, um, yeah, so we're working on, going to be playing on Duke Farming. Uh, it's just until we want to find a map. We wanted a map to play on until a new map comes out that we're all excited for, all waiting for. Um, and so we had decided on Idaho, USA at first since, you know, all the fields are planted and, you know, we'd be set and ready to go for just sitting there combining. And then I went to go upload that map to the dedicated server and for whatever reason it did not want to upload that map it didn't like it so I said well how about we do Duke farming that's a pretty large map you know field wise and whatnot I can go and plant all the fields and we can use that so everybody thought that was a good idea and then uh, so we figured out you know we've got uh, the case IH combine pack in uh, we have the Macdon D60, but I'm adding a new header to that because there was a Macdon FR75, I believe it is. Um, let me look here. Uh, well, it doesn't even say, but this header, uh, it's a polygonish model, uh, as is this. This I'm not actually keeping. I'm just using this uh, because of the header that I'm working on with some other guys. Uh, so I'm going to use this kind of as some reference. But, um, yeah, it, uh, 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 totally lost my train of thought. But, yeah, I'm going to be adding that. And then we've got a couple semis, a couple hopper trailers. We've got, um, a grain cart and tractor. And we've got pickups for all of us. And um, then I've just, I finished planting all the fields on the map today. And just now all I gotta do, uh, we decided we're gonna use the grain bin pack. So I put the Meridian bins on there, the Meridian Max 14 bins, and Twister bins on there. And so. Uh, I got all those in place on the map in Giants Editor. I just have to go in and um, I just got to go in game here and buy one of each of those bins so that way I can start adding the um, stuff into the XML files to um, make it so that way those spawn in when we start the game. Uh, so that way we can use them. So then, of course, we have the Farm King Auger, the Brant Auger, and then the Sakundiak. Second, Sakundiak. I don't know how you pronounce it, but the Red Auger. Uh, <laughs> that's what I'll call it. Um, so then we also have that in as well. And uh, so once we get going on that server, I'll probably do some videos on there as well. Uh, <clears throat> like maybe once. You know, one week a month, I'll do, like, two videos of dedicated server stuff, maybe, or something like that. Uh, I am also playing on a good buddy server uh, on his edit of uh, County Line. He fixed a bunch of issues and stuff and added some stuff, moved some stuff, changed some stuff, whatever. Um, if you guys remember the Big Bear Ranch dedicated server series that I had done a little bit of, uh, it's that same server, just, you know some same mods some new mods and then a map change and all that good stuff so um i might pick you know like one week a month and do that or something we'll see so we'll just kind of go from there uh but yeah so we'll definitely do some video on that and whatnot so yeah getting this field knocked out that's for sure 
actually not using as much uh, stuff out of the tank as I had thought we would, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> it's kind of saving us money because money is something that we are spending a lot of right now. And let me see. I don't know. Do I have any loan out? Yes, I do. So uh, I don't know. Let's see. How much of this do I have out? Not exactly sure. I just know I have some loan out, so not sure. Um, you know what? Let's just take out the rest of that loan. So up to six hundred thousand, I'm gonna guess. To eight. Okay, so we'll. We'll just leave that at eight, so eight hundred thousand. So now we've got four hundred and eighteen thousand dollars to work with. Um, that'll help to get us through the season here, um, with all this seed and the fertilizer and chemical and stuff that we'll be using. So, and then we'll also just have a little bit of extra extra change if we wanna, you know, maybe we wanna upgrade the drill or something you know then we can have a little bit of extra money or if we want to buy like another 44 or 84 or something you know maybe we can just a little bit of wiggle room here really is what that makes so <clears throat> hopefully this next harvest season will be a whole lot better it should be considering the fact that you know the ground will be where it should be um, so to speak you know taking care of the ground like this will get it up to where it should be hopefully um, so then we should be able to get a very good yield so that will that will definitely be nice to get a lot more extra crop uh, and then be able to get more money uh, when I fast forward time I found uh, or I got notifications that there was great demands for corn and then there was one for sorghum too which I think that the next harvest season what we'll do is uh, just fast forward time until we can hit great demands for each of the crops and then sell get the most bang for our buck uh, because right now we really really need some money I mean we have eight hundred thousand dollars alone to pay off plus we need to upgrade some equipment eventually because I know right now planting all of this land is gonna suck because <laughs> I mean we have a small we have small planters plus the combining takes a long time I mean it took I don't know how many episodes just to do the few you know the three fields that were planted and then plus I did a lot off of camera so I mean, it's going to take a long time, but that's just how it goes, I guess. You know, you got to work with what you got, so. But uh, just got to do what you can. Got to try and get get to where you're going, which is exactly what we're trying to do. We're trying to be able to farm a lot of land and a lot of, have a lot of, maybe not a lot of equipment, but much bigger equipment. And actually, the way that I found out that I could plant sorghum was I have a save game on this that I'm just kind of screwing around with. You know, I cheated in $10 million, bought every field, bought, you know, big equipment and whatnot. And um, actually on there, I have an 8220 running that spreader because uh, I'm going around, you know, since I don't need the money right away. I'm just going around. Ooh, I better raise that. I'm just going around. I'm gonna, you know, put everything under that's there and just try and get, you know, much better nutrients and whatever. But anyway, I bought uh, the the Borgolt cedar here, and the first crop type that it was at when I hooked up to it was sorghum. I'm like. 
What? Really? You know, it's like I spent how long trying to figure out how to get sorghum and then, you know, even asked all kinds of people. And now all of a sudden it just randomly starts working. It's like, you know, whatever. It works though, and if we look here, sorghum is a pretty, pretty dang good paying crop, I think. Yeah, like right now it's on great demand for 1,107. Yeah, I guess it's not that, I guess I thought it was a little bit better, but um, mainly these oats, soybeans, sunflowers, rye, those are the highest paying crops. So the sorghum, the sorghum isn't too terrible, but it's, I mean, it's better than some of these in-game crops other than canola. Holy crap, canola is expensive. Canola pays well, but it does not yield well. Even with with or without soil mod, it does not yield that well. That is one of the worst crops to do. But it does pay pretty dang well. So that's that would kind of make up for it, but at the same time it would not because you wouldn't have a whole lot of it to make a lot of money off of, so. Yeah, so every time that 84 goes to the yard, that's $6,200 that we spend. This thing, I didn't even look and see how much it was that we spent to fill this. Plus, every time I fast forward time, I'm paying maintenance on every piece of equipment that we have. So, we're spending a lot of money a day, plus land rent, or the land taxes, I mean. I do have that mod in that pays taxes on the land, so we're paying land tax. We're spending a lot of money just to make, make it, you know, spend a lot to make a lot. But in this case, we're spending a lot, a lot to make a little, but... In the end, it will be worth it. We'll come out on top eventually. Just gotta... Keep working, I guess. Keep farming. Keep going. We haven't gone bankrupt for too long yet, so... We did go bankrupt a little bit during harvest. Until we sold our grain and we came out of bankrupt with the, half of the first load right away, so... So I'm just going to pause that, or quit, end that, and we'll just finish spraying this field, and then that'll be the video. Surprised we actually got this field done in that amount of time. Which this thing is, you know, 30 some meters, you know, 30 meters is what we're set at for GPS, so... You can, pretty, you can take a pretty big swath with this. Can knock out a lot of ground. So hopefully the 84 finishes pretty soon. Um, once I'm done with this field, I'll go work on field 39. Then hopefully by the time I finish field 39, the 84 will be done. I can move him to this field. And I can go spray 31. And then just keep, keep moving. I did also just receive a package from Amazon yesterday finally. Uh, I ordered a new speaker and uh, I'll actually grab that here. A Yoyamo, -Yo -Yo something like that. I'm um, not sure if you guys can see that, but it's a Bluetooth speaker. It actually, you can run Bluetooth, you can run aux, um, and you can run, it plays the radio, although I haven't had very good luck getting a country station to come in. Uh, I got it in, but it was like really staticky. So, I don't know. Um, it doesn't have like a digital display on it either, so I have no idea what channel, you know, what station I'm on either. So that doesn't help at all. But, uh, yeah, so the Bluetooth works just fine. The aux I haven't had to use yet. And probably won't really. 
uh, just because the Bluetooth is a lot easier to use. But. Whoops. Wrong button. Well, I accidentally hit the button, actually. I didn't mean to even hit a button. So this field should take, like, no time at all. Uh, especially this top section here, this north section. This piece is pretty small. So we'll park that guy. And we'll just go check on the 84 here. He's getting close to done. He's knocking it out, so... So after this round of lime, we should be all set. Uh, this, if it's going 0.4 with each round, this will put us up at 6.2. So 6 is uh, uh, neutral. So we will be all set. So yeah, guys, that's going to about do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Uh, be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias, uh, including my mod site and other cool YouTube channels that are definitely worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, uh oh, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.